Hi guys, we are going to read Disney Pixar, Disney Wonderful World of Reading, Brave. Story Illustrated by the Disney Storybook Artist. In the misty Scottish Highlands, a spirited girl named Merida entered the throne room. She was the princess of Dunbroach and lived in the castle with her triple brothers and her parents, King Fergus and Queen Eleanor. But in her mother's eyes, Merida wasn't a proper princess. Queen Eleanor wanted her to learn things as Princess should know, but Merida was easily distracted. The princess was far happier in the forest on her horse, Anagos, shooting arrows that always hit their target. One night, a letter arrived at the queen's and waited. Eaten. Three clans were bringing soldiers to complete for the right to marry the princess. Mary was horrid. I said it. I won't go throughout with it, she shouted. Later, Eleanor tried explaining that the marriage would keep peace among the clans. She told Merida a story of a kingdom divide among four brothers when one selfish prince split from the other the kingdom fell into run Merida didn't care about made up old stories Lincoln's our lessons the queen warned they ring with throw out soon the clans arrived the first born of each clan would compete for the hand of the princess it was Merida's duty to choose the game i choose her cheery, she and noised. The three contests tried their luck. The first to miss it, the bully's eye, but their third contestant hit it perfectly. Then I fourth contest appeared. I am Merida, first born this egg and dent of clan. Then broach this laird, the princess, and I will be shooting. For my own hand, clap, 
Clap, clap. Merida hit all three bullies' eyes, splitting the last arrow in two. Queen Eleanor was furious, worried that Merida's actions could destroy the peace in mourning the clans. The queen dragged her daughter inside. Merida, you are a princess, and I expect you to attack like one shouted Queen Eleanor. But Merida was angry too. She didn't want to get married. You are a besieged Merida shouted back, I'll never be like you. Then the princess slashed the family tapestry, splitting the images of herself and her mother. So Big Merida ran out of the castle and galloped away on edges deep in the forest. The spotted blue lights that contained tiny fingers wisp plus the princess followed the magical creatures to a small cottage. It was the cottage of a witch. Mary asked for a spell. If I could just change my mom, then my life would be better. The witch held up a ring that a prince had once slept with her in exchange for a spell to give him the strength of ten men. He was forever changed the witch warned Mary. That was exactly what Merida wanted, so the witch put a bit of this and dash of that into a cauldron and made a cake. By the time Merida returned, her father was entering the crowns inside the castle in the kitchen. Merida convinced her mother to try a bite of the spell cake. A forward, a lonely, wild, dizzy, so Merida helped her mother upstairs. The princess wondered if the spell was working. The spell worked, but not the way Merida expected that her mother was still in nor Merida had to help the queen escape because queen King Ferdus hated bears, having lost his legs to the demon bear Mordu with her brother's help. Merida snaked the queen out throughout the kitchen. Help yourself to anything you want as a reward. The she called to 
with the triples. The queen and the princess returned to the cottage, but the witch had left. Instead, Merida found a message fate that be changed luck inside mend the point turned by the princess didn't know what it meant but the message also said that she had only until the second sunrise to change her mother back or the spell would be permitted that night they slept in the forest in the morning Merida showed the queen how to fish for the first time in a long time the two had fun together Later, they spotted the whispers. The creatures led them to an cage. 